We, at the onset, express our sincere and deepest condolences to the bereaved family members who lost their loved ones during today's coordinated preconceived acts of violence leading to destruction of property and ultimate loss of life. We condemn in the strongest term these acts of violence which have reared their ugly face in the Harare Central Business District and we attribute them to the MTC Alliance. The government of Zimbabwe places full responsibility for the violence, destruction of property, injury and loss of life on the MDC Alliance. We have continuously and persistently churned out hate speech, inflammatory language and have displayed propensity for violence since February 2018. Bofu also said police officers will not hesitate to take action against those creating what he called anarchy. They've been calling themselves Democrats and uh, accusing us of being dictatorial and democratic. And uh, you know what has happened, what has been happening. My president has been talking to the region, talking to the international community, the continent, the globe, that our elections would be free and fair. Opposition parties have never enjoyed freedom of meeting their supporters since independence, the way they've been doing. So they've perhaps interpreted our understanding uh, to uh, being weak. I, th I think they are testing our resolve. And uh, I, think, I think they are making a big, big mistake. And when we start clamping on them, they will also cry foul. But we are a responsible country. And we have the laws that actually give us power to deal with those that break the law. Zimbabwe's police commissioner says the military will remain on standby in case violence flares up again. Uh, now that the military have come to assist me as head of police, I can only release them when the situation comes back to normal. Yeah. And that's why government, my minister and myself and the part, my department of uh, press and public relations, we are appealing to people to stay maybe in their homes until this election period is over. For those who are going to work, they must go to work and go back to their homes without disturbing anyone, without infringing the movement and freedoms of other people. So as long as the situation remains like this, I will not send away the military.